What's up everybody, Evan Yon here with week 9 of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1 and we got some more challenges plus we got the foundation to unlock the rock and a few variations of the foundation. Quite a few challenges this week so let's get going. First we got a new season quest, receive our next objective in Covered Cavern. So Covered Cavern is the new location right now above north of Camp Cuddle. So I don't think you can do this on Team Rumble because you need to defeat the Gunner. Gunner is a new boss at the Covered Cavern that is basically the Brute from the past and you need to kill him and he's gonna drop a card. You gotta pick up the card, it's a data card. Now I think you have to do this on the same match, you have to bring the card, yeah drop off the data card at a dead drop. A dead drop will be on any of the uh, the seven outposts, the sanctuary or the monument. So we're gonna do this, the closest one here. So it's this little fake treat stump, just place the data card and that's the first challenge. Now for the actual challenges, I guess, what they count as quests. Reach max shield in different matches. So you're gonna get this naturally. Three matches, you gotta do this. Simple. Next, we got loot supply drops. You can try doing this on Team Rumble, regular mode, going after the supply drops, or you can defeat Gunner, again, at the covered cavern, and he's gonna drop a key card that you can open a, a vault. And in the vault, there's four supply drops. So you just need two for this. It's kind of an easy way to get it. More secure than, you know, going for a supply drop, I feel. Next we got Ignite Structures, so I need 10 of these. I tried shooting gas stations, but it didn't work very well. The best way to do this is get a Firefly Jar and throw at a, at a house. As you can see here, I get like four just from one Firefly Jar, just throwing at a random shack. Next we got restore health in the storm. Any healing item should work except maybe the except maybe the fizzle juice because you can't get health when you're in the storm with that item, but I'm not sure. Next, let's try hiding places. I did this at the cover cavern. There are four dumpsters in there, and you need five for this. There's also a bunch of porta potties, but I think they are all for transporting yourself to another porta potty, which means they, they can't be destroyed. I don't know if any of them you can destroy around cover cavern. The best place to do this might actually be tilted towers. There's like eight trash cans in there. But yeah, you don't have to do this on the same match anyway. Next we got visit different name locations in a single match. You can do this on Team Rumble. Get like two or three locations out away from the circle and then respawn. Get the next two three locations.
And lastly, deal damage to opponents with the heavy shotgun. You're bringing back the heavy shot shotgun, but it's kind of weird right now. You have to really aim me, and you can get a lot of distance with it. You need to do 200 damage. So now we got the foundation, the challenge is to unlock foundation. We're gonna go straight to the one that actually unlocks him, which is visit mighty monuments, a seven outpost and sanctuary. So this will actually unlock him. You know, the seven outposts are all over the place, but we can just go to the one that is next to the monuments and sanctuary, you know, cause they're all right there. So yeah, once you visit all three, you unlock the foundation. Very simple, now we're gonna do all the other challenges to unlock more of his stuff. First, we got deal damage, melee damage to opponents, 100 to unlock his pickaxe. So we, we can do this on Team Rumble, just land on people and go aggro with the pickaxe. You just need 5 hits. I don't think it, it doesn't, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work against AI, so we'll have to do this against regular players. Next is snipe an opponent with a sniper rifle while crouching. We get the back bling from the foundation. So you don't need to actually kill anyone or even do a certain amount of damage. Just crouch. To hit a snipe, that's all you need to do here. Next, we got search chest or ammo boxes at covered cannon. There's a lot of loot at covered cannon. You know, chests and ammo boxes. Just free you need here. Shouldn't be a problem. Next, hire a character and travel a thousand meters with them. Here's a map with all the characters that can be hired. You need to hire them. I don't know if the price is always the same, but at least this one that I hired, Lieutenant John Lama, was 95 gold to, to hire him. Now just walk around for a thousand meters to unlock the challenge. And this will unlock a wrap from the foundation. Next we got use a shoot potion in a single match. You need four of them. So you can either do this on Team Rumble, get two two minis and a shield potion, a big shield potion. Then you die, you respawn, get another shield potion, or you know you get a hit, you lose some of your shield and get more shield. But it has to be on the same match, so maybe Team Rumble is easier. And only the mini shield potion and the big shield potion count for this, not just any shield. So that is the first part of the foundation challenge. Now, once you've done everything there, you unlock the second part for more cosmetics. So first we got land at a 7 outpost and finish top 10. This will unlock the, the glider for the foundation. And so I tried this on Team Bravo and didn't didn't count, even though I won the match. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to count unless they change that. So just land at any of the outposts and just be careful, you know. Just don't engage with anyone until you get to top 10 and you should get the challenge. Once you die or win the match. Next we got deal headshot damage to players with common or uncommon weapons. This will unlock a different head style for the foundation and common and uncommon are the gray and green weapons. You need to do headshot then 500 heart headshot damage so it's gonna be a little bit just play on team rumble just grind this a little bit a few matches should be good.
Next, we got deal damage to opponents from above with shotguns or SMGs. Another head beast for the foundation. So yeah, just build up. It also counts just jumping. As you can see here, just jump and shoot. It should count for this. You need to do a thousand damage. So again, kind of grindy. And the last challenge is assist in eliminating Gunner. So we already done this. Again, I don't think he's available on Team Rumble. He's at the covered cavern. You don't need to kill him. So if someone else kills him, as long as you shot him a little bit, it should count. And this will unlock the emote for the foundation that reveals his face. His face being the rock. And that is it. Once you've done every single foundation quest, you unlock all of these. Which are variants of what you already unlocked. And that is it everyone. Thanks for watching. Another week fortnight we will be back for next week for more challenges whatever they got for us yeah don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel i'll see you next goodbye